Hey, welcome back to Two Super Guys, Trent Socks, I'm Dylan. And I'm Vinny. And I have bad news for anyone doing the TLT or Bond or Xeros, any ETF with bonds, any bond trade. There is something that has literally never happened in the history of the stock market that just occurred. And it is likely this trade is not going to go near as, won't be as fruitful as we were originally thinking. Let's go with that. Um, I'm sure Sorry. you're familiar with all these headlines. We absolutely crushed the job report. Yeah. 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 I mean, stock market was ripping higher on Friday, you know, which is sexy. Yep. And I, I've done a couple, a couple videos now on how the TLT shoot up or bond shoot up was really dependent upon the jobs market. I think they, they were projecting like 140K or 160K and they got 250 or four. They killed it. It's yeah. like wild. So unemployment rate also fell. Not good for the bond play. Um, the TLT weekly charts right here, you can see you know, a little bit of a correction. We're, we're still quite low. And then the daily chart, obviously it's more devastating when you zoom in. But look at that. Yeah. Well, I, and I was watching it on Friday because I want to say the 10 year treasury yield was like 3.9 uh, at the open and would in shops like four. Like, you know, it, it was a pretty dramatic move for a treasury bond, um, you know, as far as yield rate to, to, you know, move on news like that. You could tell the market was not expecting it. Yeah. It's essentially, it's just echoing what Jerome Powell is saying on. The economy is actually very healthy. We could stay at these lakes longer if we need it, maybe better. So mm -hmm. not good for the TLT trade, but good for the economy. Um, now, here, here's the yield curd on inversions. The one thing I just want to draw to is you can see how when they pass, sometimes they're unbelievably steep. You can have a mm -hmm. little correction where they pass, came back down steep. And then same thing. This is over the course of like eight months, though. So that would have been kind of nerve wracking. Here we were... And we're actually coming back down. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. But I that's mean, not you know, crazy. if we're a stock chart, you would be looking at it and going like, oh, okay, maybe now it's going to retest this level from the top side to set up a new baseline before yeah. it like, you know, kind of takes off. But like, I know these things don't really trade yeah. quite like that logic, right? These are a little bit more weird. Um, before we get to the juicy news, uh, I just want to make sure people know I've done multiple videos overlaying the stock market with unemployment and the bond market. And typically, as unemployment shoots up, bond market usually does quite well, hence the origin of the TLT trade, in addition to the fact that we have to continuously decrease rates from where we're at. Um, this is just showing that. You can see this is, I, I can explain this, I've done this before, but basically this is a one. Anytime this falls below one, bonds outperform um, the SPY, and you can look at the dates on when this has happened. These are all recessions or unemployment yeah. hikes. All right. Okay. Now, what's that? What's that indicator, Vinny? Oh, the SOM rule that we're talking yeah. about. The, uh, Explain that. Uh, if unemployment three month average is uh, half a point above the lowest point in the last 12 months, that's when the SOM rule is activated. Now, you know, she's a Fed governor and she even came out herself and said, like, that doesn't necessarily mean that recession is like imminent in this particular case, she's like, this may be one that breaks the trend, if yes. you will, but that, that, that's the historical rule about unemployment and, and recessions. And using that rule, it was correct in the 12, is it 12, 12 previous recessions. Okay. Yeah. And it actually has not failed. And essentially she was saying, this is the time it fails. All right. <laughs> well, now, maybe. Yeah. May. Well, <laughs> mm. <laughs> Actually, Looking like it is what yeah, you're leaning towards today, yeah. So here is, I, I actually have the values that we're going to look at in a full chart. That's the interesting part. So one, the gray is recession, all right? Now, real quick, da, 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 da. Ah, not that. Gray, recession. Now, mm -hmm. this corresponds with the unemployment percentage. The SOM rule does not usually tick right at the start of the recession. It's actually usually in the middle. So what I did is I gathered all the data that the SOM rule has ever been positive, meaning above a 0.5 value. I then charted nine or 10 months after that, the unemployment rate to see if there is a pattern, okay, using mm -hmm. the unemployment rate and the SOM rule recession indicator. So these values are going to be overlaid on top of each other, okay? Okay. All right. So every single time 
the SOM rule has ever been positive at a 0.5 value. That is the first month in this column. Okay, so all of these, the SOM indicator was hit. All right? Okay. Now the red is, this is an arbitrary value. I just did a jump of 0.4% or more in unemployment. Okay? okay? So all I want you to look at, for instance, 1948, 4.3 to 4.7, continuously goes higher towards about a lot. 1953, full percentage jump. Now that means we were just positive for the first time and then a full percentage jump. Then obviously mm -hmm. it keeps going higher. Same thing, 0.6% jump keeps going higher. This one, it just actually kind of gradually went higher for a straight year. All right. Okay. Now these two stayed the same. This is a little bit of an anomaly. And then each had a large jump 0.4, then another 0.1 and another 0.6 then a 0.6. This one 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.1. They all had massive jumps. Look where they started. Look where they ended. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one, it kind of just gradually went up, but continuously went up. Same with these two. Now, here's where we are. Let me make you smaller. Now, this is the only time in history where the SOM rule actually ticked off. The following month, we actually lost, which has literally never happened. Yet again, <laughs> the following month, lost again. Also literally never happened. Not good. The, okay. the, the odds... Now, look, with, you know, it's impossible to predict the future. I don't know what's going to happen. But Jerome Powell did say a recession is looking not likely at all. I, the data is fairly damning. I'm going to have to yeah. agree. It's, this has literally never occurred. And unfortunately, the two things that were propelling TLT to be a great, great trade were A we know rates are going to decrease, thus TLT has to go higher. The problem is, if you're in the TLT trade, like I am, would you have been better off just putting your money in the SPY? It is possible, right? Because the other leg of the TLT trade is the SOM rule following every single time in history it has ever occurred. Since, yeah. you know, they started recording in 1948. Um, it, you know, it is what it is. It's not, it's not doing what we wanted. It has broken. So that makes sense. You're proposing the deal amendment to, uh, um, the basic the idea of the SOM rule, where if you now have two negative months in a row after the SOM rule has been hit, then it's you know no longer, um, going to be, uh, in effect. I mean, first of all, even one negative has never happened, but I would say two negatives would be safer. Now, granted, <clears throat> I want to be wrong so bad. So I'm <laughs> like, if, if unemployment shoots up, TLT shoots up, I've done, I've done multiple videos on that. It's just, I don't know. It just happens. It's, it's just looking increasingly unlikely, hmm. not zero, but increasingly unlikely. If we had a hundred data points, I would say unbelievably unlikely, but you know, we have 12. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, they have been advocating for a potential soft landing and, you know, Powell has been saying that he thought the labor market could come into balance by a reduction of available jobs rather than people actually being laid off, which is kind of the indicators we're seeing evolve. Um, so maybe this time is different. I mean, I'm sick and tired of being in the one and only episode of something in, in human history. But the COVID like recession, shortest recession is just come on. Um, now, I will say it really depends on where you bought in, because if you bought in in TLT at like the 80 range and you sell in the 110, 120 range, you're still probably you're still going to beat the spy. That's a 50 percent increase. So the 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 buy in is unbelievably important. For instance, I'm at 91. I think I'm at 91. Now, full disclosure, I'm going to buy more. <laughs> but <laughs> I, should, I should throw that out there. Um, Purely because I'm now looking at it as I have a lot of money in stocks and a lot of money in TLT, and it just gives me protection. I won't gain as much, but it gives me protection in case this does reverse. So you're more hedging your portfolio at this yeah. point. Yeah. Fair enough. All right, guys. All right. Let us know what you think. Exactly.